Chris, uh, you had said you had a clip of Which, Katie Couric. I don't think we should. Here it is. Okay, here it is. Here's a clip. Quick responses. Hillary Clinton. I, I can't believe I'm saying this. I think I would have much preferred her as president and may have voted for her against John McCain. Why? Because I think John McCain is this weird progressive like Theodore Roosevelt was. I think John McCain would have been worth, <laughs> how about this? I think John McCain would have been worse for the country than Barack Obama. How's that? How's that? How's that? How's that? How's that? How's that? How, about, how about Glenn Beck calling anybody weird? How's that? Uh, Mike Allen, uh, is anybody paying attention to Glenn Beck in Washington, D.C.? Well, of course they are. And anybody who inspires the sort of size of following that he does, the sort of passion that he does, uh, you have to pay attention to. Now, I can imagine uh, this is good for Senator McCain's name ID. Senator McCain could probably uh, uh, pass this clip around. But uh, Glenn Beck has clearly tapped in uh, to something that's very real in America. The question is how long he can sustain doing it in the way that he does. And to what degree is he responsible for the consequences of his approach. You know, he says he's a rodeo clown. He says he's just a joker, an entertainer. But that's a way to try and separate himself from the consequences of promoting this kind of conversation. Yeah, he can't do it. Right. You cannot say that the President of the United States, Mike Barnacle, uh, hates all white people. You cannot call the President of the United States a racist. You cannot <clears throat> wallow in conspiracy theories, as he did for about a month, suggesting that FEMA might be setting up concentration camps and going on Fox and Friends and saying, I can't disprove it, and then wait a month. You, you can't stir up that type of hatred. Again, calling the president a racist. Yeah. And then say, oh, I'm just a rodeo clown. Can I, I can, I've got an honor roll. We're, we're going to have a conservative's honor roll on this show. All right. And trust me, you want to be on this honor roll I know how these stories end. I always know how they end. And I'm talking to you, Mitt Romney. And I'm talking to anybody that wants to be president in 2012. You need to call out this type of hatred because it always blows up in your face. But yesterday, Pete Weiner, uh, Coral Rove's political guy inside the White House, brilliant guy, writes for commentary. And we disagree on a lot, Pete and I do. Um, but Pete came out yesterday and said, Glenn Beck is bad for the conservative movement. We need more people doing that. You cannot preach hatred. You cannot say the president's a racist. You cannot stir up things that could have very deadly consequences. I was in Congress in 1995. I know where this can end. You can't do it and then say I'm a rodeo clown.